<laughs> Wait, you can't have that. Why do you say that? Because I'm the one who saw it first. Maybe, but I'm the one who actually took it off the shelf first. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> It's you! Well, we meet again, Miss Paper. <gasps> so you're the one! The name's Miss Deep. Miss Deep? Joker's told me a lot about you, though I never expected to bump into you in a bookstore in Tokyo. You were trying to get the book, too. I had orders from Joker. I can't believe you're really the paper. I'm Yomiko. Yomiko Reedman. Really? I'm sorry, and your name is? I told you, it's Miss Deep. That's your real name? What kind of a secret agent gives their real name to a stranger? <laughs> oh. Not too bright, are you? I just thought if we knew each other's names, it would be easier to get along. We have a working relationship as field agents. Code names will do just fine. Oh, I see. Well, it's nice to work with you. <laughs> right! Did you just... <laughs> oh! Oh my god! <laughs> and that's my superpower. I can dive straight through solid objects. Hence the name Deep. You leave yourself way open. You're not much in a fight, are you, Agent Paper? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's just... I have this thing about my glasses. Well, that was a surprise. Huh? Oh, darn! That girl's nothing but bad luck. What's wrong with the airplane? Sorry, I forgot to make the tail. <sighs> Take off went well. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. <laughs> that was probably the stupidest move I've <laughs> ever seen. Try looking before you leap next time. What's worth more, your life or your book? <laughs> Either way, I think you've proved that you're a useful agent. Nancy. Nancy Makahari. But I thought you said... <laughs> no, it's all right. I don't really like my code name. It sounds like a porn star. I'm Yomiko. Yomiko Reedman. I know, you told me. And love me today and yesterday what tearful longings I have for you 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 my life my all farewell continue to love me and never misjudge the most faithful heart of your beloved ever thine ever mine ever ours hmm. well that's what it says in the book I mean so what's that all about I mean it doesn't sound like much Seems like I've heard it somewhere before. <laughs> Why is your book so dirty? It's really old. Well, it's gonna ruin your bookmark. It's a shame, it's really kinda cute. <laughs> you really think it's cute? You like it? <laughs> it's nice. Then it's a present. <laughs> Thanks. I always give these bookmarks to my friends. And I'd like to think that you and I have become friends. Yeah. Thanks, I'm sure I'll use it. Even if you don't, it's still good luck. And if you use it with the romance novel, it'll bring you true love. I don't like trashy romance novels. 
It's better to have love than to read about it. Well, I guess that's true. Real love is much more complicated. It's not like those stupid books make it out to be at all. What do you mean? What would you choose? Would you take real love with all its complications or the picturesque romance in a story? What's your choice? Uh, uh. <sighs> Sorry, it's a stupid question. I'm gonna go take a nap. I've got an answer to that question you asked. <laughs> I've given it a lot of thought, and I decided that being in love would definitely be better than reading about it. I mean, sure, it's difficult, but at least you're always the main character of the story. I mean, it's always about you, and I'm sure there are other perks, too. Just think about Could it. Could you please stop your rambling? We have a job. Concentrate on the mission. Oh, right. Please try to get up, Nancy. You can still make it out of here. That's gotta be one of the dumbest things you've ever said. You sound like one of your stupid romance books. I'm really sorry. I just... <laughs> Guess I have no choice. It's kind of a risky move. I'm gonna try to disable his weapon. You're gonna hit him while his defenses are down. Right! Nancy! Are you okay? Oh yeah, this is nothing. But you... You just got... so afraid you weren't gonna wake up. You've been sleeping for two days. I've been asleep for that long. And you're okay. I'm glad you're awake. I'm sorry. It's my fault. They took your book. Don't even worry about it. There's plenty of books in the world, but there's just one Nancy, and if we lose you, that's it. <sighs> mm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, I think I'm gonna go oh, take a nap for a bit. I just... Uh... <clears throat> 